there guys, Portal Master here, and I am back for the final episode of our Skylanders Ring of Heroes playthrough series. Today we are going to be tackling the final area, which is the Shrine of Light, and taking on Luminous and finishing the main story. I'm so excited to do this because then I'll feel like I can actually play the game off camera for real and not just do little minor upgrades. The one thing I'm going to do before we head into today's video that I did want to do really quickly on camera is just upgrade Tree Rex a little bit to level 38. I felt like that would be the best course of action and would sort of let us head into this video with a little bit of a power increase without really pushing the boundaries too far. So putting him up to level 38 pretty much puts him on par with everybody else. That's the same level as Shadow Spyro. Shadow Spyro is about halfway to level 39, but it's not a huge deal. So I'm a lot more comfortable doing that. Also, it appears as if I need to collect my reward for, um, for this. So I'm going to grab that really quickly. I'm actually going to drop a guardian in here because I'm actually recording this like right after the last episode. So, you know, oh, well, y'all can deal with it. Let me collect these rewards really quickly because why not? And with that, I think we're ready to head into our final adventure because that was pretty much the only little management I needed to do before we head in. So let's see what Eon has to say. You've made it this far, Portal Master. I bid you the best of luck as we get closer and closer to chaos. Right now, you must face Luminous, the guardian of the Shrine of Light. He awaits you deep inside. But beware, he is still a foe. His fear of darkness and pursuit for light have transformed into immense rage. Be vigilant, Skylanders. All right, let's head into the shrine entrance, the final of the main levels. Woo! Let's do this. Who all do we have here? Just some chompies and some trolls. That should not be too big of an issue. Let's go ahead and see if we can take this guy out with poison dart. Not quite going to be enough. Not a huge deal, though, because we're going to use seismic so shockwave. That's what it's called. I, I want to call it the wrong thing every time. Shockwave. All right, we got five mana going into this next round. We're going to break this Chompy with this charge attack, and then we're going to use um, this stifling skills attack over on this goblin or troll or whatever it is. Then we're going to use Hex's Skull Rain ability this coming turn once it gets there. Skull Rain should finish everybody off. Looks like it's not going to quite do it. Let's use Dark Fire Shot to take him out. We got the last Chompy remaining, and looks like we're going to have to use Photosynthesis Shot. And wow, it's still not going to be enough, okay? We use Poison Dart to finish him off then. All right, so now we're heading into this next one. We got round two. Let's take out the Chomp Chest on the far left with Ghost Ball Curse. Wow, that's still not enough. Jeez, these guys are actually pretty tough. I'm kind of surprised that Ghost Ball Curse isn't enough. That one shot like everything in the first part of the game. So, okay, we'll use that attack, and that will, in fact, finish them off. They're going to then all attack onto Tree Rex, but that's not a big deal because Tree Rex is definitely packing the health. So we're going to use Skull Rain to just try to deal as much damage as we can, and then I think we can probably finish this guy off with Stifling Skills, and yeah, we sure can. I don't really need the defensive ability, so we're just going to let it stand, and we're not really going to worry about using the Portal Master ability. Um, let's use Poison Dart to take him out, and then we'll knock this guy down and probably take him out too with Enraged Charge. And yep, sure enough, that was enough to take him out. And that is going to be our first little area. We've completed the Shrine Entrance. Um, I think these things are probably going to be named like the original ones. Shrine Investigation, yeah. So that they changed the names up for some reason with the 7th or the 8th the and the ninth areas. Um, I talked about that in the last couple of videos that uh, they have a pretty consistent naming scheme, but they really changed it up for some reason with um, the 8th uh, the and the ninth areas. But it looks like they've changed back to normal. So, okay, we use Shockwave. Wow, still not enough. Okay, dang. All right, time for Skull Rain over here. Gonna take out that threat pack on the side. We're gonna go into this next one with six mana, and I think we can probably use Ghost Ball Curse maybe to take him out. Yeah, it looks like we can. And then Dark Fire Shot should finish him off. Um, we've got this last threat pack left, but I think if we Poison Dart and then proceed to hit with Photosynthesis Shot, that should be enough to get uh, him out. Yep, and we heal up. Tree Rex a good little bit. So we're going to heal up and let's go ahead and bait using Shockwave. Um, so everything is provoked on a Tree Rex now for a couple rounds. And let's think, who do we want to knock out? Well, let's knock him out. Let's knock out the Lob Goblin. And while he's knocked down, we're going to fight the other lock, or Lob Goblin with, uh, with uh, Stink Bomb. 
Now going into this next round, we're gonna use Skull Rain onto Blaster Tron. That's gonna be enough to take out the two ones on the side and then hopefully Dark Fire Shot can finish him off. Sure can, we've just got that leftmost Trolling Thunder left. We won't use the defensive ability, we really don't need to. Go Small Curse followed by um, Poison Dart should finish him off and it does. Alrighty, so now that we're back into the groove of things, we're making pretty quick work of that. Shrine Investigation has been completed and Hex has actually leveled up. Pretty nice. We're gonna have some sheep creep, some grenades, some, uh, oh, why can't I think of his name? What's his name? Uh, eyebrow, not eyebrow. Good grief, it's not eyebrow. I know it's not eyebrow. It's I scream and, oh, why can't I think of the guy with eyes for hands names? I have him on my villain poster. I just can't read it from here. Um, actually, let's use shockwave and let's try to bait everything onto me. Onto Tree Rex, I mean. Tree Rex is obviously not me. Skull Rain, that's enough to take out that rightmost sheep creep. Um, okay, we're gonna use Poison Dart over here, and then we're gonna use Photosynthesis Shot on that sheep creep. Uh, we're gonna head into the next round, and uh, let's see, how, we, how do we wanna do this? Um, I think Ghost Ball Curse is not gonna be enough. Oh, wow, okay, it was enough. I'm pretty surprised that was enough to take him out. Um, okay, let's take out this grenade over here. Let's stun him with Spyro's ability um, and knock him down. They're gonna target onto Stink Bomb, but we're gonna use Shockwave to get everything provoked onto Tree Rex. Um, they're gonna send the mini grenades to Tree Rex. Not enough to really do any damage at all. We'll use Skull Rain, take out that grenade, and then we'll use Stifling Skills to maybe take out the other grenade? Looks like it was enough, that's good. Okay, and they're gonna attack on the Tree Rex because he's still got the Provoke going. We're gonna use Ghost Ball Curse onto that Buzz Beak and then finish off this guy with the Poison Dart. Alrighty, we love to see it, we love to see it. All right, that was the Shrine Guard Post. And now we've unlocked the next thing, the Dark Subjugation. The petrified darkness has created an illusion of the villain with tremendous power. Weaken the illusion and get the Super Boost Key and lots of gold. I'm ashamed to say this, Portal Master, we lost the petrified darkness. The villains must have waited until we were focused on taking care of the portal. I'm really sorry. Also, I think they've created something they don't even want to deal with. Let's go up here and let's go to challenges, because we've unlocked Dark Subjugation. You can only enter three times a day. You'll be able to get Super Boost keys in return. You'll get more rewards as the accumulated damage increases, so focus on dealing damage. Rank rewards will be given every week in order of the accumulated damage. So we can enter. Um, the recreated being will transform according to the accumulated damage. It won't be easy to eliminate the enemy, but don't be discouraged and keep it up. So it looks like this is like a group team fight, which is actually a really cool concept. Um, and I've seen that in some other games before, so that's kind of cool. We'll throw in George. It looks like we've saved the team. Um, I don't know what the exchange member is. What is this? Hmm, I have no idea what that means, but I guess we'll throw in High Volt and Crypt King, because why not? Let's go back out. Um, so it looks like it's chaos. This is kind of interesting. I'll definitely have to check out the Dark Subjugation and uh, make a video on that at some point. All right, so let's get the gold and let's head into the Shrine Library. We'll take a look at the Dark Subjugation sometime off camera and I'll, I'll talk more about it once we've beaten the main story. So, okay, let's stun Grenade with uh, Enraged Charge and knock him down. All right, then it looks like Grim Creeper is going to uh, just, I don't exactly know what he did really. We use Shockwave, provoke everything onto Tree Rex and just let him soak all the damage. Okay, Buzzsaw Dash does like basically nothing to Tree Rex, so it's not even a big deal. Skull Rain, we're gonna save a mana going into this next round. Oof, that was a lot of damage, but it's not a huge deal. Um, okay, we got six mana. Let's, again, stun Grenade over here, and knocking him down, maybe we can use Photosynthesis Shot onto that Central Shield Shredder. Then we'll have another opportunity to use um, Shockwave. So Shockwave is gonna again bait everything onto Tree Rex. 
And all right, that blew up, which is unfortunate, but then Dark Fire Shot is going to do that. And Tree Rex is gonna heal everybody for 15% of their health right here. So I'm not terribly worried. That's a nice heal as always. Let's try to take out this grenade over here on the side. I don't think that's gonna be enough, but also it's not enough to trigger its explosion just yet, which is nice. So let's knock him down and this way he won't be able to explode. Um, doesn't do anything. And I'm gonna hit this Rage Mage over here and take his accuracy down. Um, he's almost dead, so that means that we can go and we can use Shockwave on these guys. Still have two mana left over. We're gonna carry that over into the next round. We'll have eight mana right here. And we're gonna use Skull Rain on these guys. And then we're gonna use Ghost Ball Curse over on Rage Mage. We're gonna be left with a single grenade. We're not gonna worry about shielding because grenade can't kill us in the single turn like this. Um, and Poison Dart onto grenade takes him down. Yay! <laughs> All right, we only have three more levels, guys, and then we've beaten the main story of the game. I'm so excited for this, guys. Very, very excited. Um, all right, and we're still overpowering these guys by like a lot. The recommended power level is 60,000. We're sitting here pretty at 70,000, uh, or 79,000, I should say. So we're, we're doing amazing. I'm not worried at all about Luminous. Hopefully he's not as hard as he used to be, but we'll see if they change that at all. So we'll use Skull Rain on these guys. Um, not too worried about trying to bait the damage just yet. I think we'll bait them all now with Shockwave. Um, that was able to take down that leftmost enemy. They're all gonna attack onto him but they don't even do that much. We're gonna hit this guy with charge, and then we're gonna hit this guy with photosynthesis shot. Okay, basically we're just saving up to be able to use um, Hex's ability again. That's really what we're doing here. Um, although we may honestly not even need it. We'll use stifling skills over here, and uh, well, how do we wanna do this? Let's just buff Tree Rex, honestly. Uh, we're just gonna pass real quick. And because I kind of want to just be able to do this and just hit shockwave and just eliminate everything. Uh, it's not going to do it though. Of course not. Should have known it wasn't enough. And okay, well, you just use photosynthesis shot then. All right. And ram into this guy. That'll knock him down and take him out of the battle. All righty. So we got two hook sickles and a couple of trolls right here. Let's go ahead. Since we don't have anything better to do, we'll use skull rain on that lefter most uh, hood sickle. They're not gonna have enough mana, so I'm not worried about shielding up right at this moment. They're gonna attack on the Dark Spyro, which is not even that bad. Then we're gonna use Shockwave. We're still not gonna shield up because everything's provoked onto Tree Rex and it's not worth shielding our entire party just because Tree Rex is gonna take a little bit of damage. Um, yep, yeah, we knock him down. Photosynthesis Shot will take out that leftmost enemy. We're gonna pass really quickly. We'll have seven mana this next turn. So we're going to use this very efficiently and we're going to use um, Ghost Ball Curse right here. Then we're gonna use Poison Dart right there. There. We're gonna pass. Did not even need the Portal Master ability. Not even gonna waste time with the little cutscene that it has in battle. All right, stifling skills onto that goblin, and boom, there we go, taking him down. <laughs> Looks like we're actually gonna hit level 10 too, which means I'm gonna be able to buy another Portal Master. Wow, the opponent's battle power just increased a lot right here. The last one was 60,000, and now we're already at 65,000. So hopefully Luminous will not pose a threat, but uh, hey, maybe he will. We'll have to see. I'm going to take him down either way, though. We're, we're going to do whatever it takes. So let's do that as our opener. Um, not enough to take him down, but enough to at least do a little bit. We'll hit with Shockwave. That doesn't remove any endurance, unfortunately, but it will at least taunt everything onto Tree Rex. Although, then they didn't end up attacking him. So we're just gonna use Skull Rain over here on the rightmost Blaster Tron. Um, dang, again, with the area of effect attacks. Really annoying, because I'd really like to be able to tank all that damage with Tree Rex, but it's not happening for some reason. Well, Photosynthesis shot onto Buzzbeak. Um, and they're gonna now they're, now they're gonna use their single target attacks now that Tree Rex is not taunting. They're too smart, I tell you, too smart. All right, shoot that Blaster Tron, then hit this Blaster Tron with Poison Dart. It's the enemy turn, they're gonna attack onto Hex, but then, oh, I don't wanna do that. I want to use Stifling Skills on that Buzzbeak. Um, that should be enough, and it is. So now we're heading into the last round. This is the last round, guys, until we get to the, the final boss fight, if you will. So let's use Shockwave, and we'll provoke everything onto Tree Rex. 
Um, they're gonna send some mini grenades at him. We're gonna stun this grenade over here, and then while he's knocked down, we're gonna use our dark fire shot over on that guy. Um, okay, so then they're gonna whack onto uh, Tree Rex. Not a big deal though. Let's see how we wanna do this. Let's shoot him with photosynthesis shot, and then let's shoot him with poison dart. And because I don't know what they're going to do, we'll actually use the shield effect so they don't somehow take out Spyro or something ridiculous like that. Because, you know, that would be just my luck. All right, so we're going to hit with Skull Rain over here. Not quite enough to finish them off, but we're going to go ahead and use Stifling Skills to take out that grenade. All right, we got a Hood Sickle and that last grenade over there. So I think what the trick is going to be is going to be to use uh, Ghost Ball Curse over here and then break this grenade over here with Enraged Charge. Not enough to take him out, but enough to knock him down. Then we'll finish him off with Photosynthesis Shot right there. And that is it, folks. We've completed, uh, what is this? Seven, or eight, 10 six, I mean, the Shrine Reception Room. And we've leveled up the Academy once again. We can now have up to 57 energy. We can have uh, Portal Masters at level 10, and we can expand the Ether Bag. So I'm not actually sure how we expand the Ether Bag. I guess I'll look at that later. But before we head into this final fight, first let's get these blue potions, because we're gonna use those really quickly over in the Portal Master tab. We're gonna upgrade George to level 10 where he needs to go. Let's see, <coughs> let's see. There we go. That's the most efficient way to use all of it. So Portal Master's skill core power consumption amount minus one. So basically what that means is that before it took 37 core power, or essentially we had to use 37 mana's worth of abilities to get this core power strong will and increase everybody's defense by adding that little shield. But now we only need to use 36 mana, which is a pretty nice little increase. And I feel like as we further level up George, that's only going to get better. I don't really know what his level cap is, but I really, I really do imagine that's only gonna get better. But let's go ahead and buy Bruno. It's only gonna be 10,000 gold, and I'm pretty okay with that. We're not gonna worry about getting fixed time right now, um, but we, we are gonna have Bruno now in our little arsenal, which is nice. I'm sure he'll definitely help with certain team compositions. We're gonna collect these rewards too. All right, so I guess if we go in here, we can look at how to expand the ether bag. Um, actually, I don't really, see, oh, there it is, there it is. We can increase it by 30 by spending 10,000 gold, and I assume that price goes up as you increase it further. So before we head into our final fight, we're gonna do just a couple more summons. I really want this Stormblade. I don't think we're gonna get Stormblade, but it, hey, it's worth a shot. Let's see if we can get her before we head into this final fight. We're gonna get five Skylanders. Our first is a Water Skylander, and we are going to get Washbuckler. We don't have a Washbuckler, so that's really exciting. We're getting a Life Skylander. We got another Tough Luck, so she's super boosted again. Let's see, we're getting a Tech Skylander, and that's gonna be Chopper. We also don't have a Chopper, so that's also pretty sweet. We're getting an Air Skylander, and that is gonna be Blades. Uh, that's a super boost. And another Air Skylander, and that's Blades again. Wow, so two super boosts for Blades right there. But I'm really excited about Washbuckler. That's a really, really good new ally. Plus, we got Chopper. More excited about Washbuckler, though, since that is a heroic level one. All right, we're going to do another summon. We're going to get an Earth Skylander. We got a Wallop super boost right here. We're going to get another one of the Life Element. We got Gorilla Drilla super boosted. Um, we got a Magic Skylander. What are we gonna get? We've got Pop Fizz. That's a new ally as well of the heroic type. Really happy about that. We got an Earth Skylander. We got Wallop Super Boosted one more time. And our last one is Wham Shell Super Boosted. Okay, so we got a new ally with Wallop. Uh, or sorry, not, not with Wallop. We got a new ally with Pop Fizz. And then we Super Boosted several other characters. Uh, Wallop twice. So, you know, I'm okay with that. We're usually getting new Skylanders every time we uh, summon right now, which is pretty nice. And we're getting those super boost objectives as well. So lots and lots of good stuff still. We're still sitting at like 37,000 gems, which is just an insane number of gems. So while we didn't get any super boosts for Skylanders in our active party, it's not a big deal because we did still get some awesome summons. So looks like Luminous has a suggested power level of 67,000 and we're at 79,000. So I'm not really worried, but he was very difficult in the original game. So we're gonna see if that holds now. All right, we got three Blaster Trons right here. Let's go ahead and take down a Blaster Tron and knock him down. Just make him lose a turn real quick. Okay, so we're gonna then use Skull Rain on all of these guys. 
and then it's gonna be their turn. They're gonna hit us with those area of effect attacks, which is why now we're gonna use Shockwave on them, bait everything onto Tree Rex, still gonna hit us with those attack all things. Let's see who we wanna take down. Let's take down this guy over here. And then we're gonna use Photosynthesis Shot on that leftmost guy. We'll only have the one Blaster Tron to worry about. He's gonna shoot us all one more time, but I'm not really worried just because Tree Rex's ability is gonna heal us all going into this Luminous fight. And here we go, we got the final boss entrance, Luminous. Let's see what he has to say. Light extinguishes darkness. Finding this light is my ultimate goal. With great power, all is possible. No dummy, with great power comes great responsibility. Ironically, using the Book of Dark Magic may be the only way to secure this power. After I've used the book for this purpose, I will destroy it. Maybe my desire for this book led to my defeat. Again, it's all because of darkness. May darkness be gone with it, and that is why I need this book. But, really, but reality seems to be harsher than I thought. You will not put a stop to my plan. Do not try to stop me, or you shall meet your fate sooner than you think. Threatening, very threatening. Let's just bait him using Provoke. Okay, let's see what he does. Crystal Pole. Oh no, not these annoying things. I remember these. Hopefully they're not as bad as the first time. Okay, so he made himself invincible. Now we just have to take down these Crystal Poles and I think we'll be able to actually damage him. So we'll use Stifling Skills over here. We got two mana that's gonna translate into one more in this next round. Um, okay, how are, how are we doing on health? We're doing good on health. Let's try to break him down a little bit. Um, we we'll use poison dart right here. We're gonna save up some stuff, but let's actually go ahead and use our shield ability right here. Um, he's gonna use crystal pole again. And, oh, that was all he did. Wow, I thought he was gonna do more, honestly. Uh, let's use ghost ball curse while he's open, and then we're just gonna use shockwave to deal a little bit of damage to everything. Um, okay, he uses Judgment, which is actually not too bad, especially not compared, I think, originally. I'm pretty sure that was normally the attack that would deal, like, a ton of damage the first time. And we'll just use Photosynthesis Shot on that other Crystal Pole. Not a huge deal. Light Rays onto Tree Rex, not a big deal. He did Invincible himself, though. So, thinking ahead, let's use this ability onto Stink Bomb, because I think he'll get more out of it than, uh than Hex will, and I'm guessing that this will not do anything. It might apply a status effect, though. It's not gonna do anything, so we're just gonna pass. All right, he does Crystal Pole one more time, but I think we can be better used if we try to break him and knock him down like this. Then we can use Poison Dart, deal a lot of damage, and then hit him with Stifling Skills right there. So then he took a lot of damage, um, and looks like he's not gonna do anything on his turn. So then we'll use Shockwave to taunt everything back onto Tree Rex, and we'll use Photosynthesis Shot on that crystal that kills it. Um, he's only got one of the poles left, and we'll add defense to ourselves so that he can't do anything with that pole. He Crystal Explosions, but the shield totally blocks it. That was a lot of damage we just blocked. Really good move right there. And we should be able to finish with Ghost Ball Curse onto him. And boom, we just took him down. That was the final boss. Maybe my greed for this book led me to this defeat. Again, it's all because of darkness. I shall rid myself of this wretched book. Light shall be found another way, but not like this. Aha, I knew this would happen. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Chaos, how are you even here? Chaos, no, the book. Oh, book, how I've missed you so. Now you're back with me. Aha. With this book and my powerful magic, I will crush you, Sky Losers. Here's a teeny taste of what awaits. The Portal Master jumps in and stands in front of Chaos. Aw, how brave, how gallant. Oh, Portal Master, you're no better than the Sky Losers. The Portal Master summons Stealth Elf. Nice try, Chaos. Glumshanks, you'll thank me later. What? what Ah, sir, watch out. Wait. Glumshanks crashes into Chaos, and the book slips out of Chaos's hands. The Portal Master quickly summons Spyro. Say bye to your book, Chaos. Spyro snatches the book and flies away gloriously. Anything requiring effort is not worth it. Ugh, you Sky Pest, Sky Dumbo, Sky Everythings. Glumshanks, wake up, grab that book, grab it. Not so fast. I had to miss my workout for this, but here I am, and there you go. Glumshanks, you fool! I told you to grab it! What do you even use your arms for? Barbella swings her barbell with full force and sends Chaos and Glumshanks flying through the skies like a home run. Portal Master, we did it! I can't believe we really did it! We got the book back! 
You have done well, Portal Master. We may never know when Chaos will be back, but in the meanwhile, there is more to do. Come back to the Academy when you can. The journey with your Skylanders is only just beginning. <laughs> oh, it's like the classic ending to a Skylanders game. Let's see what it has to say. Or is it just cool artwork this time? Maybe it's just cool artwork. Oh, look, it's the Portal Master. And it's the gang. Awesome. I love all the artwork here. Like, honestly, this really, this really makes the game for me is all this extra artwork. So I guess the Portal Master went back to Earth and got reunited, and it looks like built some type of portal. Can't tell what this is, though. Oh, it's Gilgrunt in his natural habitat. Oh, it's the water Skylanders. Oh, is it going to pan up and, like, show all the Skylanders? That'd be cool. Oh, it's just Flynn. Flynn and Callie. Oh, but it keeps going. Oh, this is really cool. I know I keep saying that, but this is really actually quite cool. And what, we got Spyro up here. And it looks like something's riding him. You can't tell. Oh, it's one of the Portal Masters. Oh, that's cute. Cinder right behind him. We still don't have Cinder. I really want to unlock her. <laughs> that's some cool artwork. I really like that. I think that's I think that's probably the end of it though. Yeah, it looks like we're fading into whiteness, so probably the end of it. Yep, there we go. Oh, but it's chaos. He's still around. We haven't gotten rid of him yet. Guardians new area. A new island has been found to place the Guardians. Don't forget to place it. All right, let's go back out here to the battle result thing and claim our 500 gems. Go back out here, put a Guardian in. Uh, let's see, let's do auto place. Gonna put Tree Rex in. I uh, don't think there's anything else it wants me to do. All right, and let's complete our missions. We've got 1500 power and we got a quest to clear 10-7. And it looks like that is going to be it. Um, yeah. The only new thing, though, is that we have now unlocked normal mode, so I don't know if there's going to be any new, like, story text or anything. I I'm betting there is not. There wasn't originally, um, but we are going to be able to play through this all again on normal mode. If you want to see me do this, I guess I can, but um, I feel like most people are not going to want to see me play through normal mode, and most people are just going to want to see me um, just continue on with grinding and try to doing guides and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching, because... Um, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you. Um, this has been the third time I've recorded a Skylanders Ring of Heroes series. This has by far been my favorite time. I think the improvements they've made to this game have been really, really good. And I'm really curious to see how they do supporting this game over the next few months and what additions come to it. Because I think this game has some potential especially with this revamp and I really really do want it to succeed because I love Skylanders I think this game is pretty good considering it's a mobile game um, I'll have a full review up now that I'm actually done with this I'll have that up at some point in time so uh, yeah thank you guys so much for watching this series I'll be back with more Skylanders Ring of Heroes content in the near future but for now that's all I have for you guys check out all my social medias linked down in the description below I also have an official discord channel where you can connect with the Skylanders community as well that's all for now though and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. I just wanted to take some time to thank my generous patrons on Patreon, including Haley, Adrian, Wosa, True Blue Dogemon, and Angry Ted C.